Hey everyone, it's Brendan here with Crypto 101. And today I'm going to be walking you through how to add customizable watch lists to your TradingView account. Now, once you're on your TradingView page, just like this one, and you're looking at the charts, you can actually go up to the top right hand corner of your screen where it looks like a little book or a little page up here. And you can click on this top a little icon that says watch list details and news. Now, after we do this, you'll see that I already actually have a watch list created over here. But if you want to create your own, you can click on this little area right here. I'm going to click on my drop down list and then I'm going to click create a new list. Now, from here, I'm going to go ahead and name this one. We'll just call it my uh, tempo list and I can click save. And now my tempo list has been added. But the next step is actually adding coins to this list. So if we go to the plus button that says add symbol right up here, then we can click on it. And now a bunch of options will open up. So let's just say that I want to add a few cryptocurrencies. Well, for Bitcoin, for example, I could type in Bitcoin or I could use the ticker symbol for Bitcoin, which is BTC. And say I wanted to compare Bitcoin to the US dollar, then I would use BTC USD. So here I would type in BTC USD. I would select the exchange that I want to look at. I actually want to use Coinbase. And then we're going to click on this little plus button right here that says add to watch list. So now that it's been added, we can go exit out of this, go back to the watch list, and we can see that Bitcoin has now been added to our watch list over here. But let's say that we want to add a few more just to kind of fill out the list. Well, another one I could do is ETH USD. I can click add to my watch list. Then I can do something like Solana, for example, and do Sol USD. I can add this one. And maybe I want to add one more and I can do AVAX USD and we'll switch things up and we'll add this from Binance. Well, now we can see that my list is getting built out. They're all populating in the order that I wanted them over here, but we can actually sort this list by the customizable order that we are currently in, or we can sort this by change in percentage, um, change in the assets. Uh, we can search it by, or really filter it by alphabetical order, symbol type, all this stuff. So. Let's just say that I want to do it in change of asset from least greatest to greatest. We can see that Bitcoin's down about 2% on the day, Ethereum down three, AVAX down almost four, Solana down about four and a half. And so we can sort this by this, or we can go back to our customizable order right on over here. Now, another cool feature that we have is if we click on this little pie chart up here next to the add symbol button, then we can actually open up and see all the assets that we have inside of this list. At the bottom, we get a nice little comparison about their performance over a select period of time that you can determine. Um, but you can also see that there is news related to these cryptos um, on the list. So you can get some news about them. Another cool thing is that you can see um, the groups that they're all a part of. Now, obviously we just added cryptos here, but you can also add metals and stocks and indices and futures contracts and commodities and everything else. And you can get the full breakdown here as well as the exchanges that they are listed on. Now, the one of the final things that I want to share with all of you is that you can actually make these public. So if we go up and we click on the three little dots in the top right hand corner of our screen, then we go to settings and from settings, we can copy the list. We can rename the list. We can clear the list and we can also do something called table view, which makes our watch list a little bit smaller or bigger, essentially. Now, the final kind of cool feature over here is that we can actually share the list. So by clicking on this, we toggle it on and then we can click the copy link button. This will allow us to copy the link and share it to our friends so that they can see what we're interested in and also, you know, track along with us and watch with us uh, as we are going through our list. So they can share their list with you. You can share your list with them and kind of see what all your friends and peers are doing uh, as well. Now, beyond this, if we're going on the watch list, Say I want to go and click on Solana, for example. Well, if I click on Solana, the chart is instantly brought up. And also if I scroll down over here, I can make this, you know, bigger or smaller, but just by dragging on this little line, but you can see that there's a little section for Solana down here. So I can see that, you know, there's the price of Solana, but I can also see its volume, its market cap, uh, and things like this. You can see technicals and you can also see different kinds of news and stuff as well. Uh, as they populate. So it's a nice little tab. So if you're ever looking at Solana and you're like, Hey, well, like what's the market cap of Solana uh, right now? Well, you can click on it and right here, nine times out of 10, it's going to give you the market cap uh, alongside some other metrics. So 
I really use this as a nice little way to kind of holistically see how the crypto market is doing. Again, if I have my watch list over here, instead of having to go to every single crypto one at a time and check Bitcoin, then Ethereum, then Solana, then AVAX, then so on and so forth, I can just open up this watch list and say, okay, well, here's how everything's doing on the day. You know, select a filter if I want one uh, and roll from there. And it just kind of makes everything easier. So I hope this was able to help you out.